Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Raka Kodash, that by honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham. Is in the name of Kha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Shalom to the 144,000 men. As laboring is true for the sake of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth. And a sincerity shalom. It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through, through, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And the title of the video, Lord Willem, is going to be uh, The Heathen Shall Know Thee. Because in the kingdom of heaven, all right, when the Lord established order, the heathen is going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is Lord in power. All right. And he's, they're going to know that, you know, through the power that the Lord is going to put in us. All right. And the subjection that they're going to be under. All right. Uh, as the scripture says, they're going to know. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the power. So let me start here. This is Ezekiel chapter 39. And I'm going to start at verse 7, then I'm going to jump down to verse 23. Lord willing, this is Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 7. It says, So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel, and I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, the Holy One in Israel. All right, you know, so through that that new covenant being established, all right, you know, us having new bodies, us having a mind, having having the law, such as commandments written in our inward parts, all right. Therefore, we'll never pollute uh, the name of our power again. All right, we'll never pollute the name Yahweh by Yahweh Shah again. All right, cause, because we're going to be perfect. Okay, and it says, All the heathen shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Okay, they're going to know that, you know, you know, really through us, you know, through the ass whooping we're going to give to them. All right, and how perfect of a nation we're going to be. All right, the peace. All right, you know, the kingdom of heaven. How beautiful the kingdom of heaven is going to be. They're going to know that uh, Yahweh, he is the power. All right. And he's the holy one in Israel. Okay. And he's in the midst of Israel and no, none other nation. All right. Jumping down to verse 23, it says, And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. All right. So in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to know that, hey, we went into slavery, you know, for our transgression, man. All right, for us sinning against the Heavenly Father, not because of their power, okay? None of that, man. It's strictly because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father. And it says, Because they transgressed against me, therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies, so fell they all by the sword. All right, you know, so when Yahweh Bashim al when he hides his face against us, you know, that's when we fall in battle, all right? But when you when you help us, you shy is on our side. We're, we're pleasing unto him. We're unstoppable, man. We're undefeated, all right? We're, we're too powerful of a nation because our power, you know, he's the ultimate power source. He's the only power source in this world, and he's only for the nation of Israel, all right? So, you know, he wasn't on our side, you know, then we went into captivity, all right? We fell by the sword, all right? We were destroyed as a nation. It says, verse 24, according to the uncleanness and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. All right, so that's referring back to uh, Romans the 11th chapter. All right, all Israel shall be saved. 
All right, you know, we speak on the two thirds of our people being destroyed, which is going to happen. All right, they're going to be cleansed through, through thermonuclear missiles. Okay, but hey, in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be reborn again through the loins of the elect. All right, so that's the Lord having mercy on the whole house of Israel. It says, and will be jealous for my holy name after that they have borne their shame and all their transgress, all the, and all their trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwell when they dwell safely in their land and none made them afraid when I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies lands and am sanctified of them in the sight of many nations all right and the Lord's going to take us out uh, of America all right and whether whithersoever the the Lord has scattered us the elect on this side is going to be taken out of those lands, man, and being delivered into the uh, into the chariots, man. All right, the scriptures often often refers to them, uh, the chariots as the clouds. All right, that's the First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, Psalms one hundred three. All right, Revelations one and seven. All right, the clouds a lot of times represents the chariots, and that's where we're going to meet the Lord in the air. All right, in the chariots. Okay, then we're going to come back down. All right, it says in Revelation that, that city coming back down. All right, and we're going to establish order on uh, on earth, man. Establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. All right, the Lord is going to, it says, and I and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. All right, the Lord is going to put us above these other nations, you know, where we belong. All right, according to Deuteronomy 7 and 6, all right, the Lord, uh, the Lord made us above all other nations. Okay, so the Lord is going to put that power, put that glory back into us, all right, in the sight of the other nations. The other nations are going to know that the Lord is dealing with the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel only. All right, all that talk now, you know, God loves everybody, all that talk is going to be put out, put out the way. All right, because the Lord is going to make known that he's in the midst of Israel and Israel only. Okay, verse 28 says, Then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity. All right, and even us. All right, you know, us as a nation, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to know that, hey, the Lord, he brought us into captivity because of our disobedience, man. Okay, it says, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen but i have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them any more there neither will i hide my face anymore from them why because of the new covenant all right the lord is going to put the laws into our inner part therefore we'll never transgress against the heavenly father again it says i have poured out my spirit upon the house of israel Save the Lord Yahweh, all right? So the Lord is going to pour upon his spirit on us, all right? So therefore, we're going to be perfect. And uh, this is uh, Isaiah. Isaiah, I believe it is. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 23 it says this is Isaiah 49 starting at 22 it says thus saith the Lord Yahweh behold I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my people uh, and set up my standard to the people and they shall bring thy sons in their arms and thy daughters shall be carried upon their sho their shoulders so this is speaking of the uh the other nations all right it says and kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers they shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet 
and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. All right, you know, we're waiting for Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. All right, so therefore, hey, we're not going to be ashamed, man. All right, you know, Lord willing, we're part of that number. We're going to be glorified, man. All right, and these heathen, they're going to, they're going to bow down to us, man. All right, they're going to serve us. They're going to be our servants, man. All right, the heathen shall know, you know, that Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is the power. And this is uh, Ezekiel 38 and verse 16 it says and thou shalt come up against my people my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land it shall be in the latter days and I will bring thee against my land that the heathen may know me when I shall be sanctified in thee O Gog before their eyes It says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Art thou he of him? Art thou he of whom I have spoken in old times by my servants, the prophets of Israel, which prophesy in those days many years that I will bring thee against them? It says, And it shall come to pass at the same time when God shall come against the land of Israel saith the Lord Yahweh that my fury shall come up in my face for my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel man all right you know so the Lord is going to uh the Lord is going to destroy these other these other nations man destroy their land okay especially the uh where the gutter rats is stand now man all right, all right. By, by thermonuclear missiles, man. That that uh, that source of cleaning, okay? Because fire is a is a cleaning agent, man. Okay, and the Lord is going to use these other nations, you know, to come up against, you know, uh, uh, these other nations. All right, the Lord is going to use these other nations to fight against each other, man. Psalms, yeah, Psalms 46. This is Psalms 46 and verse 10. It says, Be still and know that I am the Most High. I will be exalted among the heathen. Okay, see the Lord, He's going to exalt Himself first and foremost among the heathen because right now these heathens they think that they're. That they're untouchable, man. All right, that's why uh, America is referred to as the virgin daughter of Babylon, man. All right, a place that hasn't been touched yet, man. All right, but the Lord is soon going to exalt himself, man. All right. And he says uh, in Ezekiel 25th chapter, you know, by the hand of his people Israel. All right, well, will he lay vengeance on, on, on Edom, man? It says, I will be exalted in the earth. And let me just grab that Ezekiel. Ezekiel 25, verse starting at 12, says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand against upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. I, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. All right, so another reason why these other nations are going to know that, uh, are going to know Yahweh Shah. 
All right. You know, through the power that he's going to put in us, man. It says, they shall do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right. So these heathens, they're going to be humbled real soon through the power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. All right. The power that he's going to put in us. You know, Lord willing, we are that number. All right. You know, so I just wanted to do a quick exhortation. All right. The heathen shall know thee through the power that the Lord is going to put in us, man. All right. So. Or willing this was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. We'll close with that. Give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Machar, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David and to the next lesson. I say Shalom and Ababa Ba. Shalom.